If you're planning on starting your own podcast and taking the airwaves by storm, then you're going to need one of the best podcasting microphones to ensure you capture every last word. So, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 12 best microphone for podcasting. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 12 in my list is Mackie Condenser Microphone. If you host a musical podcast or are a musician yourself, the $199 Mackie EM Chromium USB-C microphone includes an extra 1 by 4 inch input for plugging in an instrument like a guitar or keyboard to record along with the microphone. An aux input lets you play along to music from a mobile device or another source, and you can listen to it all from the headphone output. Lead level meters and level controls for the microphone, instrument, headphones, and aux input are built right into the base of the mix stand. If you're playing solo or are interviewing a singer and songwriter, for example, the mic's pattern switch selects the proper recording mode for the scenario. Proprietary circuitry borrowed from Mackie's professional studio and lid sound mixers imparts a signature low noise tone at 16-bit slash 48 kilohertz audio resolution. You also get an audio recording software suite, including Avid Pro Tools first. Number 11 in my list is Samson Technologies Key 2U USB Microphone. If you're starting a podcast on a shoestring budget, don't worry. The Samson Key 2U will improve the sound of your voice over the internal mic of your computer or mobile device and includes a lot of extras to get you started for a low price. The Key 2U has the looks of a classic dynamic vocal mic and is available in a $59.99 podcasting pack that includes a handy desktop tripod stand with a detachable mic clip that screws into standard microphone stands and boom arms. It has both USB and XLR connections with included cables for both, and you can record from both outputs simultaneously. The Key 2U includes a headphone output with volume controls so you can monitor your sound, and there's a mic on slash off switch. With the final inclusion of a mic windscreen, the Key 2U packs the hardest punch for the price. And when it comes to approachable options, Samson isn't restricting itself to starter kits. The company also offers the $199 Q9U. Read our full review here. An alternative to the aforementioned Shure SM7B at $200 less. We'll be posting a full review of the Q9U in the near future. Number 10 in my list is MAONO AUPN 421 USB Microphone Podcast. While we often fill these articles with top choices from big brands, we're always pleased to find great quality options from lesser-known manufacturers too. The MAONO AUPM421, catchy name, huh? Landed in front of us one day, and we were blown away by the build quality and simplicity on display. The PM421 comes as part of a kit, including an adjustable boom arm and pop filter, and is perhaps the quickest and easiest way to get the Pro Studio look at home. MAONO claims the PM421 can record at exceptionally high levels of audio quality 192 kilohertz slash 24 bit, and the all metal construction gave us confidence it will last the course. So while it can be perilous buying from brands you're not familiar with, there are definitely bargains to be had if you know where to look. Number 9 in my list is Razer Siren X USB Streaming Microphone Podcast. There are plenty of parallels between streaming and podcasting. Gamers, in particular, are largely behind the rise of simple plug and play USB mix, so it makes sense that the big gaming brands are beginning to muscle their way into audio technology. The Razer Siren X is a great example. You notice from its aesthetic that it's clearly aimed at a certain type of user, but it has plenty to offer podcasters too. In our tests, we particularly like the super cardioid pickup pattern, which did a credible job of rejecting sounds we didn't want in our recordings like footsteps outside our studio, while the neat adjustable bass, which allowed us to find the ideal angle for recording, is a nice design touch. Number 8 in my list is IK Multimedia HD2 Handheld Digital Microphone. IK Multimedia was at the forefront of creating tools for people to unlock the recording potential of their phones and tablets. 
The Italian brand has a huge legacy in recording software and apps, but its range brought portable device recording to the masses. The IK Multimedia HD2 is an all-in-one USB connected microphone that includes a built-in preamp so it can be connected directly to mobile devices. The sound quality is good too, making it a solid choice for on-the-go producers with a limited budget, while we also like the bundled suite of apps to record and process your audio. The all-metal housing is reassuring and gave us the confidence it would survive years of recording duties. In action, this mic produced pleasing clarity and punch whether we were recording into our smartphone or day at home. If you're on a budget, this is definitely a mic to consider. Number 7 in my list is Shure SM7B Vocal Dynamic Microphone Podcast. If you've ever been in a recording studio or ever watched a band play live, you'll have seen Shure microphones. Simply put, they are the standard against which all other recording microphones are judged. The Shure SM7B adds to this reputation by doing one thing really, really well, making the audio it records sound brilliant. There's no USB connection, no bundled gear other than a windscreen. Nope. This dynamic microphone is designed simply to deliver clean, clear audio. As one of the only dynamic mix on the list, we should point out the ease with which the SN7B copes with loud environments too. It's the flat frequency response we were most taken with during our tests, though essentially, none of the frequencies it receives are emphasized in any way. This means that when you come to process the audio, egg add compression, EQ, it sounds as natural as when it was recorded. A top-tier microphone, no two ways about it. Number six in my list is Centronics Podcast Pro Microphone. Launched in early, the Centronics Podcast Pro is a dynamic microphone which has, as you may have worked out from the name, the world of speech recording in mind. This unique looking broadcast mic is designed and built in the UK and is geared entirely towards the spoken word. In practice, its super cardioid pickup pattern does a great job at rejecting pretty much everything that isn't spoken directly into it, although this does work against it when trying to record multiple voices at once. With many podcasts now doubling up and offering video alongside the traditional audio, you could do a lot worse than inviting one of these stylish mics into your studio. There's substance to its charms too, however, and it comes at a very reasonable price. Number 5 in my list is Rode NT-USB Condenser Microphone. Australian brand Rode has genuine pedigree in the world of microphones, hence why we were drawn to the Rode NT-USB. As a specialist USB desktop microphone, you're not likely to be taking it out in the field very often, but as a set-and-forget desktop option for podcasting, it's an ideal choice. Included in the pack is everything you need, including a 6-meter USB cable. So if you were required to move away from the desk and into the music studio, it could comfortably work its magic on acoustic guitars, for example. For less demanding requirements, there's also the neat Rode NT-USB Mini, which boasts many of the same features only using a smaller footprint. For our tests, we use the NT-USB to record into Logic on a Mac and GarageBand on an iPad, check out our guide to the best iPhone microphones, and found it very straightforward to use. Just plug in and crack on. There's nothing to adjust apart from the recording level on your connected device and your preferred monitoring level and mix. During recording, we were taken by how little there was in the way of self-noise and that the built-in headphone amp was loud and clear. Spoken voice recordings were delivered with no lack of bottom-end warmth or top-end clarity and no obvious tonal anomalies. The supplied pop shield also does a good job, allowing you to get close in and exploit the low end from the proximity effect. Number 4 in my list is Audio-Technica at 2035 PK Vocal Microphone Podcast. As a well-respected name in audio production and recording, you can reasonably expect the Audio-Technica at 2035 PK to perform well in the podcast arena. Thankfully, during our tests, it certainly did not disappoint. This cardioid pattern condenser mic reduces pickup of sound from the sides and rear, making for superb isolation of the voice. So ye, it's perfect for podcasting or streaming. 
For the completist, the addition of podcast-friendly headphones, a boom arm to connect to a desk, and an XLR cable to the bundle makes the Audio-Technica at 2,035 PK a great starter package too. Number three in my list is Rode Podcaster Microphone Podcast. Some of the mix on this list are equally happy recording vocals, guitars, streams, or Skype chats. Not so the Rode Podcaster. The first of two Rode mix on this list is built specifically for vocal recording and more specifically for speech. It's pitched as a broadcast microphone, which means it could feasibly be used for TV, radio, or other high-pressure situations. From our tests, we found the way the podcaster copes with ambient noise was the real standout. Its tight polar pattern means that no matter how noisy the environment, what you record will sound extremely focused and clear. In practice, we found the mic to have a pleasing weight to it. Enough that you definitely want a desktop mic stand on hand for longer sessions, but also robust enough that you know it will withstand years of recording. Number two in my list is Logitech for Creators Blue Yeti Microphone Podcasting. The Blue Yeti has become synonymous with a number of different applications. From Twitch gaming to YouTube tutorials, this mic is perhaps the best known and most recognizable out there. And for good reason. In our tests, we found it easy to use. It sounds superb thanks to its three condenser capsules and doesn't cost the earth. The multiple pattern selection feature is particularly neat. You can choose to either have the mic pick up the sound being directed straight into it, which is great for podcasting, or you can set it to pick up audio from a wider angle. This makes it the perfect choice for recording group sessions, where a single mic is placed in the middle of a table. Over time, Blue has expanded its range to include higher spec models capable of dual USB or XLR output, Blue Yeti Pro, a smaller scale version, Blue Yeti Nano, and even a model with functionality specific to game streamers, Blue Yeti X. And that's our only real gripe with the standard Blue Yeti. If you need an XLR connection, you'll need to fork out for the Blue Yeti Pro, which is currently $120 more than the standard Yeti. That said, whatever your creative requirements, you'll find a Yeti to suit you. Number one in my list is Shure MV7 USB microphone for podcasting. Look a little further down this list and you'll see Shure's venerable SM7B microphone. It's a true powerhouse in the podcast world and beyond and worthy of the high levels of respect it gets. Not that you'll catch Shure sitting on its hands, not when the podcasting landscape is changing as quickly as it is. Which is why we've welcomed the Shure MV7 into the fold, which takes everything good about its older brother and adds in a direct-to-computer USB connection. Best of all, it can function with both methods, USB and XLR simultaneously. The versatility this offers makes the MV7 a very exciting make indeed. We found it to be equally at home being taken out with a laptop as a portable rig as it was taking center stage in our home studio environment connected to a PC. When you factor in compatibility with Shure's excellent MOTIV app, which helps add some professional sheen to your recordings in real time, you've got a package which is pretty hard to beat amongst all the options on this list. Of course, you'll pay a little more for this level of quality and functionality, but in our experience product at this level is worth the investment and will deliver more long-term performance. All right, guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.